Hi, my name is Paul and welcome to the Doc IT channel. Today we're going to talk about Apache Kafka message delivery semantics. There are three types of semantics. At most once, at least once and exactly once semantic. So let's talk about at most once semantic. In at most once delivery semantic, a message should be delivered maximum only once. It is acceptable to lose a message rather than delivering a message twice in this semantic. Few use cases at most once includes matrix collections, log collections, and so on. Application adopting at most once semantic can easily achieve higher through output and low latency. For the at least once delivery semantic, a message can be delivered one or more times, but will never be lost. Duplication of events can occur due to the combination of uh, disrupted communication and retrying events. And this delivery semantic is ideal for application where receiving every message is more important than having high through output and low latency. The performance is limited due to needing to maintain state on the producer side, not just for and forget, waiting an acknowledgement from the brokers and potentially having a retry if an event is not received. This also results in higher cost implementation overhead than the at most once delivery semantic configuration. According to documentation, Kafka guarantees at least once delivery by default. For the exactly once delivery semantic, a message will always be delivered only one time. With this configuration, a message cannot be dropped, not duplication. Exactly once delivery uh, is typically achieved by filtering out duplicate events uh, which requires maintained state. On the consumer side, in addition to produce a site like at, at least one configuration. Because of this, exactly once carries the highest implementation overhead and highest cost as well as potential the worst performance of all of the delivery semantic. That's been said. Exactly once delivery is the only configuration that can, be, can guarantee no events will be missed or duplicates. This is necessary for the many use cases uh, with business uh, critical data, such as financial applications. Now let's talk about acknowledgement. There are three ways how to set them in the property file. The first one it is zero, second one, and uh, all. Or maybe you sometimes use minus one. The producer never waits for the acknowledgement from the broker when the acknowledgement value is set to zero. No guarantee can be made that the broker has received the message. The producer doesn't try to send the record again since the producer never knows that the record was lost. This setting provides low latency and higher through output, at the cost of much higher risk of message loss. When setting the acknowledgement value to 1, the producer gets an acknowledgement after the leader has received the record. The leader will write the records to its log, but will respond without awaiting a full acknowledgement from the all followers. The message will be lost only if the leader fails immediately after acknowledging the record, but before the followers have uh, replicated it. This setting is the middle ground for latency through output and durability. It is slower but more durable than when acknowledgement equals to zero. The final, when the acknowledgement equals to all or minus one. Setting the acknowledgement value to all means that the producer gets an acknowledgement while all in sync replicas have received the record. The leader will wait for the full set of in sync replicas to acknowledge the record. It means that he waits till all followers replicate message. As a result, it takes a longer time to send a message with acknowledgement value all, but it gives us the strongest message durability. Thank you all for watching till the end. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. For you it is just a few seconds, but for me it is good motivation to continue create such videos. Bye bye, see you in the next video.